Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the digital marketing training session by me, by Nick. Uh, a very warm welcome. Thanks so much for joining in. Thank you, Anuja. Thank you, Anuj, and thanks, Tanu, and thanks, Mukul. I would like to get across a quick confirmation from everyone. If you guys are able to hear me loud and clear, and also if you can see my screen, please do acknowledge in the chat window. Thanks, Anuja, for acknowledging that you can hear me and you can uh, see my screen. How about others? Thank you, Mukul. Thanks for acknowledging. How about others, Atanu? And uh, yes, Atanu, if there is audio. All right, so just trying to check if uh, Atanu is not able to hear. Why is that so? All right, so we've got uh, Sovik also joining in. I'm just gonna wait for five more minutes for, all right, so I think everybody has joined in. Let me just see, guys, you can start recording this session. We'll get it started in another five minutes. I do want everybody to join in or whosoever wants to. All right, I don't know, you can hear me now, that's great. Okay, so I think we have got uh, everyone, hopefully. I'm still just gonna check it. All right, Ramnik is missing. Anuj is there, Anuja is there, Atanu is there, Mukul and Sovik. Pratik is also missing. All right, it's so a couple of people missing. Just give me five minutes, I'm gonna check with uh, check within the WhatsApp group. And uh, Anuj, Mukul and Sovik, if you want to start recording the session, you can do that. We'll start with the recap, all right? So all those who did join in yesterday, all right, let's start. Perfect, sure. So let's do, let's do a recap. Or right, you started the recording, okay, I think that's what you're saying. Let's, let's start the session. Let's talk about the topics which were being covered across yesterday. So I would request each and everyone to do type in across the topics which you remember from the previous session, which is the yesterday's session. All right, so Sovik says we spoke about the artificial backlinks and which is a no-no. So uh, Anuja, you were uh, not there in the session yesterday, right? So I did answer across the question which you asked me last week about the various different ways of backlinking in the old school way, right? I did discuss a couple of them like artificial, back, uh, artificial backlinking being done through classified submission, uh, the ad submission and also through article submission. There are quite many others like, uh, you know, social bookmarking and so forth, but none of them are uh, recommended in today's SEO world. So I, I gave a quick glance on that. You can many times refer to the recording and so forth. All right, so what else? So uh, we also, so we said we spoke about the SEO tools, the Moz, Web CEO, and Screaming Frog. That's great. Yes, we did uh, understood these. All right, and uh, Mughal says uh, we did discuss about SEO tools, the anchor text, right? And we also saw the mobile friendliness test and also the responsive design checker. And then we started with PPC ads. That is correct, right, so wait. Any questions, any doubts? Anut says it was about paid SEM, which we started with, that's correct. So it says paid marketing, yes. And that's what we're gonna be continue with today. Any question which you have, feel free to ask me across in the chat window. 
and feel free to start the recording also. I can see everybody has started recording. Mukul and Anuj, just a quick reminder. If in case you wish to record the session, you can do that. All right, so any questions, any doubts, guys? Are we all good? Shall we get started with today's session in that case, if there is no question? Okay, perfect. So let's move, uh, move ahead. So doing a small recap about... Uh, the paid SEM, yesterday I did tell you that there are two forms of network, there are two networks. Now what are those two networks which we spoke about? So it says, can one e-commerce website have more than one revenue model? So more than one revenue model, definitely yes. So if you look at Flipkart, Flipkart earns through two ways, the AdSense earnings and also the earnings through selling across the product. I think rev model, you mean revenue model only, right? So Flipkart has enabled Flipkart has enabled AdSense on its website. So we spoke about AdSense yesterday, right? So I'm just opening across Flipkart. So let me see if we're gonna find out an advertisement, a Google ad basically. So Flipkart is also part of the Google Display Network. So no homepage, we might not get across uh, this pretty easily. Let me just get inside. So you guys can also check at your end. You might see so I'm, I'm trying to address across one of the questions which has come across, guys. Uh, that is from Sovik. So the couple of revenue model, the two revenue model which Flipkart has got, one is the AdSense. So I'm just trying to find out where the AdSense, uh, you know, the advertisements are. Right, so I'm just going inside some of the pages and trying to see that. And the other one is obviously with an e-commerce website, you do get to see the products which are getting sold, there is a revenue model with that. So with every particular product being sold, there's a certain margin, certain uh, profit, which these e-commerce websites are earning. All right, so what is AdSense? Can you describe a little bit? Sure, I can. Uh, I think you didn't get a chance to look at the recording. Uh, I know the recording, main recording would be shared by Nitin on Monday, uh, but I was thinking if you could have got access to the recording done by someone else, but not a problem. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and speak more about this. So do you guys remember the couple of networks? So I hope, Savik, I've answered your question. First of all, let me just get that completed. Let me know. All right, thanks for acknowledging. So yesterday we spoke about two major networks which Facebook has got, oh sorry, Facebook I'm saying, uh, which Google has got. There are a couple of networks which Google has got and what are those two networks? All right, see AdSense and AdWords are the products. Right, so we spoke about a couple of networks which Google has got. Anybody who wants to put, uh, put that across in the chat window, which two networks did we speak about? All right, so Mobile says Google Map and Google Drive. All right, so Google Map and Google Drive are 
Google's product and even Google AdSense and Google AdWords are Google's product. So networks, there were a couple of networks which we spoke about. If anybody scribbles across while during, uh, during the session, you know, scribbles uh, and puts in across notes on a piece of paper or something, uh, you can refer that across. You can find out there were a couple of networks which I spoke about yesterday. Even if you'll open across, the broken link checker was something else, right? So do you remember this network I spoke about? The one which is highlighted in yellow. One is this and there was another network. So there are two networks which I spoke about. And both the networks which are owned, which are there with Google, they consist of various different websites. Do you guys remember the Google search network and Google display network guys? These are the two major ones. Why do we need to know about these networks? It's just because when we will start advertising using Google's, uh, Google's product called Google AdWords, we will get option within Google AdWords that where do we want to show the ad? All right. Where do we really exactly want to show the ad? Whether it's going to be on the Google's property, which is Google Map, Google Drive, or Google Mail, then if, if we want to show across our advertisement on Google's property, then we will select Google Search Network. If we want to showcase across our advertisement on websites which are not owned and operated by Google, which are third-party websites, and these third-party websites are the ones which are AdSense approved, right? Like Times of India, NDTV.com, yesterday we gave an example. The publisher's website, if we as an advertiser want to showcase our ads on them, on those websites, then we will select display network. All right. So let me just go ahead and put more information about this over here, about the networks. All right. So I think I do have that screenshot. So, you know, this is search network guys. Within the search network, what happens is the advertisement, just have a look. I'm just talking about the search network to begin with. So search network consists of the Google search results. All right. So within Google search result, the ad comes like this in the text format and the other uh, websites, which can, which is there in the Google search network is like Google maps. So this is a screen grab of Google maps and within screen uh, within Google maps. Also, if you will go ahead and, uh, you know, search for something, you will find out your various results. And one of the results is an advertisement. It's been marked as ad. So the ad, the ad result over here, which is being marked, the result which is being marked as ad is, is also coming across because the advertiser must have chosen search network. So Google maps comes also in search network, Google mail also within Google mail, we do get to see these ads. Whenever we as an advertiser will start creating an ad guys, I'm saying it again, we'll get an option of the network to choose from. That is going to be the first and the foremost thing. All right. Which particular network. So the search network consists of Gmail, Google maps, Google drive and Google search results. All right. If we will select search network, our text ad only one form of an ad type there is one ad type which is text one will come across on all these places which is on the search engine results on other google's property like google map and google mail all right this is the screen grab of google adwords guys as you can see uh, it's asking on which network do you want to run your ad it says search network only display network only all right Search network and display network are two major form of networks. Then there is shopping video and app campaigns. All right. These are other form of networks. This is all about choosing and picking the kind of websites on which you want to show your ad. If you want to show your ad onto Google search and the search partners, the search partners are Google drive, Google mail and so forth. Right. If you select Google search network, your ad will come only and only on these places, the Google search engine results and also these search partner sites, which are owned and operated by Google itself, Google drive, Google mail and so forth and several other only owned and operated by Google. Now talking about the other network, which is display 
if you want to show your ad other than google search results and search partners you want to show your ads on to third party websites all right which are adsense approved i'm going to talk about adsense right now again if you want to show your ads on to those websites which are adsense approved then you will be selecting display network only i did talk about adsense yesterday and saying it again so let's say if i go on to ndtv.com what do these kind of websites really do the websites which are create a lot of content and they get a lot of traffic these websites like news websites or many other bloggers websites or any uh, website which creates a lot of content how do they really earn money they earn money by offering space by selling space on their website right now when it comes down to selling space uh, by publishers these websites are called publishers which are content creator these websites do not go ahead and approach across the uh what do you say advertises directly as you can see in this example for ndtv bigbasket.com is able to showcase their ad and this is godaddy so you're seeing couple of advertisers showcasing their ad it's not that bigbasket and godaddy has have directly interacted with ndtv it has happened with the help of google being in between google being the middle person all right what big basket would have done big basket and go daddy which are the advertisers they would have approached google through google adwords all right google adwords is meant and supposed for the advertisers who want to create ads and want to circulate these ads on the internet space and on various different websites which are not owned and operated by google as you can see NDTV is not Google's property, but Google is still coming into the picture as a middleman because NDTV finds it so difficult to really connect with thousands of advertisers. What they do is they try to connect across. We will try to connect across with several publishers like NDTV and several advertisers like Big Basket. So Google is going to be the middleman who will have connections with. thousands and lakhs of advertisers like big basket and uh, you know godaddy and thousands and lakhs of publishers like ndtv times of india and so forth all right so so here big basket has chosen the display network you are absolutely correct right yes so what big basket would have done big basket would have gone on to go uh, google adwords would have selected display network and when it would have selected even godaddy would have selected display network and they would have selected display network they would have got a lot of choices you know they would have got uh, choices like do you want to so big basket would have got a choice that uh, do you want to showcase your banner ad on ndtv on nokri.com on shadi.com on timesofindia.com and so forth now how do these websites these nokri ndtv and times of india uh, which are publishers website really appearing on google adwords they are appearing on google adwords because these websites have approached google through a different google's product which is called google adsense if you remember which i had talked about yesterday i'm speaking about it again google adsense is a product to which publishers now publishers are not at all marketing things publishers are not at all looking to create ads rather publishers are looking to offer space on their website reason being they want to earn money so as you can see this is my google adsense account and uh, i've actually taken out money from my adsense account and the recent money which has incurred which i have earned so far is 83 dollars all right the moment it's going to reach out to 100 dollars and google will actually uh, wire transfer money into my bank account you must have heard of so many bloggers and so many uh video makers they they do sit at home and then they do earn a lot of money and that's what they do they actually create a lot of content and uh content on their websites and when they create a lot of content on their website they get traffic and they apply for google adsense when they apply for google adsense what happens is people will come onto their website and a certain percentage of the visitors will click onto these ads whenever there is going to be a click on these ads ndtv is going to get a certain percentage of money as you know that the advertisers pay on per click basis whenever there is a click on the ad similarly in this example also for ndtv and big basket 
the third party which is there other than uh, sorry the fourth party so one party the one one of the player is ndtv the other player is big basket the second one the third player is google which is the middleman and the fourth player is the visitor on ndtv the fourth player on the which is the visitor on ndtv will come and then let's say click on to big basket what's going to happen is there's going to be a certain per click price how is that being determined and so forth we'll talk about that later how that per click price gets determined big basket will pay a particular per click price guys from its pocket one second so i just want to get all right so big basket will now in this case when i have clicked onto it big basket will pay a certain per click price from its debit card credit card and it's going to happen through adwords only within the adwords it will pay for let's say 100 indian rupees per click it's paying 100 rupees this 100 rupees will go from big basket's pocket to google's pocket google, it will be paid to google directly not to ndtv google will keep its share it's generally said that google keeps 60% of the money which the advertiser spends so 60 rupees is going to be with google because google is doing a lot of hard work for both the parties for advertisers and publishers it's creating a lot of network it's using its technology and so forth so google will keep 60 and the remaining 40 will be passed on to ndtv ndtv is also making money this way and that's what the objective is there with ndtv ndtv has a publisher who's offering space they're offering space with the purpose of making some extra money not extra i would say the main money in order to run their website in order to run their business and so forth i hope you guys have understood this let me just go ahead and uh, read for the more chats and it just says so display network can be connected through adsense yes what happens is the display network is a network which consists of all the websites all the publishers websites which have been approved by google adsense now today let's say i create across a new website of mine and uh, this website which i create let's say i go ahead and uh, I, I want to offer space on that website to various different advertisers. I feel like, okay, I'm, uh, I have created a website. Let's not, uh, let's just try to make money out of it by approaching Google. It's, uh, and uh, Google says that if you want to make money, uh, go on to Google AdSense, one of my products, which is Google AdSense. So today, if I've created a website, I go to Google and uh, go to Google AdSense precisely. I fill up the form. So there's going to be a, fill, uh, a form, right? There's going to be a form which needs to be filled up for applying in Google AdSense, where in, uh, you know, in the form, there would be details like what is your website name? What is your, uh, what do you say? What is your website name? Uh, what is your website all about? How much traffic does it have? And so forth. And how are you promoting it? So all those basic details are going to be there. Let's say I submit that and my website, uh, my website's AdSense application gets rejected. If my AdSense application gets rejected, my website has not been able to enter the Google Display Network. So my website will not be shown in the Google AdWords panel for various different advertisers. Advertisers will not get my website in the list. So there would be a huge list of websites which advertisers will get as a choice to pick and choose right advertisers will be able to pick and choose the website on which they want to show their ad right and these websites on which they can show their ads are the ones which are adsense approved i hope it makes sense so uh, you got that uh, so, so it says uh, the price would depend on the space again well, the price over here depends upon space and more about the demand and supply. All right. So if you are trying to get across uh, as an advertiser, you're trying to get across an ad on a website, which is very popular and there's a fight for a space on that website, then there would be bids. There would be bids across. All right. Uh, on NDTV, the price per click would be very high because the traffic is pretty high and uh, everybody wants to be there. If it's a not so renowned website that the price would be on the lower side. Okay. That's how the price gets determined. It's more of a demand and supply. And uh, the other question which you have got is 
Like if it's on top, then it's more and maybe you're less for an hour. All right, that's absolutely, that is also there. See, that is less, uh, that does come into the equation. The ad which is on the top is expensive. The ad which is bigger is expensive. And the ad which is uh, on the bottom is, is, is cheaper as compared to the one which is on the top. Plus, it also depends upon the website to website, right? The website which is popular does have a higher price. All right. So it says, or is it the same for all ads? I've answered this. So it says, and in reference to Anuja's question, display network is on AdWords or AdSense or both. Display network is a term which is used for the collection of all the websites, all the publishers' websites which have got AdSense approved on it. So the overall websites which have got AdSense approved, they collectively are called display network. And this list of websites which are there in the display network, they are shown in AdWords while the ads are getting created by advertiser. You know, when the advertiser, when Big Basket will be creating the ad, huge list of AdSense approved websites or the other name, to AdSense approved websites is the Google Display Network. All the websites which are AdSense approved and are part of the Google Display Network will be shown to the advertisers as a sort of a menu you can say. They will be able to pick and choose the websites on which they want to show the ad. So it's like just going to the restaurant. The way we go to a restaurant, we are being offered a menu and we are being told that we can pick and choose any dish, right? We can order any dish. Similarly, the advertiser can pick and choose any website on which they want to show the ad. And these overall list of websites, which is part of the menu, are the AdSense approved websites, or you can say are the Google Display Network websites, net websites which are collectively called as Google Display Network. All right, so that's the answer to your question, Sovik. And Pratik says, higher the bid price, higher will be the ad visibility. It's like this, that is correct. So. Ad visibility is always uh, in relation to the bid also, that is correct. An ad which is higher, which is very much visible, uh, there's always going to be fight for that. And we'll talk about bid part in a, in a separate, uh, as we'll move further, Pratik, you'll understand that. So bid is basically uh, something which is a competition which goes between all the competitors, all the, all the advertisers. All right. So we'll be talk more about that in detail later. Anuj just says NDT will, will take, TV will take money from big basket, right? In display marketing, in display market. That is correct. NDT will take money, but like I said, it has to be through a channel. Anuja big basket will never pay to NDTV directly. Big basket will be paying to Google because it was Google who actually connected with big basket right through AdSense and it was NDTV who, uh, so NDTV connected with Google through uh, AdSense and Big Basket connected through, uh, through Google only, to Google AdWords, right? So they never interacted directly, Big Basket and NDTV never interacted directly. NDTV was in touch with Google through Google AdSense. Big Basket was in touch with Google through Google AdWords, all right? They both connected with Google and Google actually made this happen that this particular uh, synergy happened and Google is enjoying the, uh, you know, the space in between and taking money for that. So the money will flow definitely from big basket to NDTV, but with a channel in between, which is Google. All right. So Anuja, that's the answer to your question. And Atanu says advertisers will look for more popular website when they're paying money to Google. Well, uh, not, Every time, uh, Athanu, there are certain times when, you know, webs, uh, you know, small scale businesses, they do not have a lot of huge budget. They sometimes can't afford to be on the popular websites. They can't really afford that per click price. So today, if I'm a small businessman and I'm, I've got a smaller budget, I might not be able to afford, let's say, you know, 100 rupees per click for a popular website. I might just be able to afford two rupees per click kind of websites and so forth. So all in all, it has to be a mix of uh, highly popular and uh, less popular websites also. The less popular sometimes gives you 
benefits also when they are niche websites when they have uh, these less popular websites they might have lesser traffic but the lesser traffic even which is coming over there is quality traffic all right and anuj just said it means if you want to add, if you want add on your website you need to be approved from google adsense absolutely yes anuj and you're saying then advertiser can contact you and uh, can run google adwords campaign so advertisers will never contact you advertisers will only contact google and through google only they will be able to showcase ads so ndtv will never ever get in touch with big basket go daddy and several other advertisers so ndtv doesn't even know these people it definitely ndtv will get to know in their google adsense panel that which all different webs uh, you know advertisers came uh, showcase their banner ads and so forth so and you saying so google adsense will be their channel to pay google adsense absolutely will be the place through which uh, ndtv will get the money that is correct atanu says understood ramnik says and the website should be 6 months old to register of google adsense absolutely yes now i gave you the example that if i have got a uh, new website and i am uh, i have decided to make money by applying for google adsense and uh, when i applied for google adsense let's say it got rejected uh, then it won't be part of the google display network right uh, let me tell you for getting approved for google adsense your website has to be minimum 6 months old when i say minimum 6 months old it doesn't mean that just the domain has been booked and it's parked across or the website is halfway built up and you're still counting 6 months 6 months gets uh, gets counted gets starts getting counted the day you are website is absolutely in shape all right and it's uh, and it's got uh, it is it, it has started getting uh, traffic and so forth so do not count those 6 months from the day when you have purchased the domain all right so any question any doubt guys you have feel free to put that across in the chat window so that i can go ahead and uh, clear that out further more any further questions guys can i help you with all right i think and atul says how about 6 months be counted how that 6 months like i said 6 months for a website doesn't really get counted from the day when it's been uh, from when the domain is being purchased when your website is up and running the content is there in place every web page has been uh, set up perfectly with with content being there then from that point of time your or uh, you know 6 months starts getting counted all right once that 6 months get done then you can go to google adsense and apply for it anuj says but few publications and channels starts direct dealing with advertisers for advertisement on the portal well let me tell you this direct dealing is something which is uh, not at all uh, profitable definitely people do that they feel that they're going to you know uh cut out the commission which the middleman is going to really what do you say charge for like google and so forth but those kind of uh, a majority of those kind of deals are not that effective and efficient reason being google uh, or any other middle person gives so much uh, uh you know that their technology is so great that they help in achieving better roi in the most effective manner this direct dealing thing is just like you know doing a newspaper advertisements blindly there is no such blind uh, there is no such precise targeting and so forth once we will understand this this the targeting section within the display ad when we will create the ads the display ads the targeting through uh, the targeting features which are there within google adwords then you will understand why somebody should really have this middle person like google in there instead of dealing directly directly dealing is just all about buying the space and uh, blindly going ahead and 
showcasing the ad which is which doesn't give a, a great return on investment when you say but few publications these few publications are very 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 few i mean uh, rather people have stopped doing this people who actually do this the when they are being educated on the pros and cons of such kind of an affair they have started experiment they have started uh, seeing the results that the results are much better when you have uh, you know somebody in between who's giving targeting features and so forth we'll understand uh, you know these remarketing concepts the targeting concepts which only these middle person uh, only can give anuj and uh, these direct people cannot if i talk about even remarketing you know it's that it's a technology which is so precise that you are able to showcase your ads only to those set of people who have been to your website before direct dealing will never give you that so i'm saying again remarketing happens you know in a manner that the advertisements you can show your advertisement as an advertiser to only those set of people who have been to your website so i'm just trying to tell you godaddy is uh, uh, is a website which i visited like let's say a month back or uh, you know a week back now been to that website and godaddy knows that uh, i mean i've been to the website which is godaddy and that's why godaddy is really approaching me it's so precise targeting the overall chances of conversions are pretty higher when you have these kind of middle person with their technology with the direct dealing that doesn't happen you'll understand once we'll talk for the more and once we'll see the mix is and if in case we are not getting expected uh, rmi return on marketing investment all right what google change the website we are displaying all right so google will give you all the resources google will give you all the authority google will give you all the uh, access accessibility on your adwords panel to go ahead and change anything and everything whichever you want to and as many times in a day as many times in an hour and so forth if you have selected ramik let's say 10 different websites on which you want to show your ad you can go ahead and uh, change those websites um, as many times as you want in a day and that that is your decision that's where your overall skill sets will come you as an internet marketer you would have to do all those calculations you would have to do all those observations and uh, and understand what is what decisions to be made this is all about making decisions on the over here a lot of experimentation would be done and with those experimentation a lot of uh, observations will come in with those observations what decisions you take in which direction you will start running that is something which will decide the success and failure of your campaign all right so it's as simple as that when any particular industry also it happens like this you maybe even if i if i talk about a very simple example the first time you let's say started uh, learning how to drive a car so you you applied in multiple things right you uh, drove the car in in a, a style number 1 in style number 2 in style number 3 you happen to see that style number 1 style number 2 start style number 3 didn't work and then you uh, did experiment with 4 5 and 6 and then you kept practicing so your observations your practice uh, you you got to know that okay what works and what doesn't work over here also what doesn't work and what works you will get to know in the initial phase of your advertising and once you will get to understand understand these things which works and which doesn't that will help you to find the right recipe right recipe of the ads only which will give you best return on marketing investment never ever expect a uh, you know positive return on marketing investment to come in the very first go that is that is just a i would say i mean that's just a dream or right? uh, it will never happen if had that been there then everybody will actually uh, learn digital marketing and open up their own uh, businesses and so forth right and uh, it's 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 absolutely a practice game and so forth just like any other anuj says all right so i hope that i've i've answered your question and uh, anuj says so advertisers should directly deal so advertisers should directly deal with google or any other digital agency see agencies will not do that agencies are not to be confused with 
these technology people <coughs> which are networks so these are called ad networks anuj agencies are <coughs> okay i i'm getting where are you coming from are you from the offline industry where you have dealt with uh, newspaper magazines advertisements and so forth see you would might have to unlearn unlearn that part because uh, this particular portion uh, which happens in the newspaper magazine industry where agency also uh, works as a middle person over here the middle person which is google is not to be confused as an agency agency is also a middle person but these are two different form of middle person all right agency doesn't give you so much to uh, really add on let me tell you the kind of the kind of uh, value add on an agency is able to do uh, that is way too less as compared to the kind of value add on google or any other ad network does now somebody who hires across an agency anuj also deals with google as well so you know you they've got there there are couple of middle person in this scenario so let's say you are an advertiser anuj so what happens is you as an advertiser you're not creating ad on your own or right? and you're not approaching so it means that you're not approaching google on your own so and let's say you try to approach across any consultant any digital marketing agency then if you see from the real terms definitely in that case there would be two middle person one is going to be the agency which will charge its commission and the other is going to be google also which will charge its commission and the actual amount which will go from your pocket to the main website where your ad will appear there's going to be huge variation so let's say i i i will bring in anuj in this example i'm bringing in uh one more player so there were four players which we spoke about big basket was player number 1 which is the advertiser ndtv was the player number 2 which is the publisher player number 3 was google and player number 4 was the visitor now if you want to add on another player they can be which is let's say an agency an agency what will do uh which is going to be player number 5 big basket will hire the agency agency will charge its own agency fees also and then agency will go to google adwords agency will go to google adwords and create the ad for big basket when will choose ndtv will choose all the other websites on which on which it wants to run the ad so there is another layer which gets added on the the entire uh what do you call that channel you call that channel or what do you call that right so yes it's a channel basically the channel the chain basically becomes bigger so 100 rupees uh, which big basket was earlier spending per click now big basket will be paying a certain 10% 15% commission to agency also now big basket will be spending 115 indian rupees all right and out of 115 indian rupees 15 rupees will go to the agency 60 rupees will go to google and remaining 40 rupees will go to ndtv so that's what the kind of uh, value which agency will give and the kind of value which google will give are, are going to be different all right but they both are they both are middle person but they both have different values to provide depends upon what kind of objective do you really want to achieve so you can be open about it anuj and let me know what exactly is in your mind what do you really want to as an advertiser what do you want to achieve now since you are learning these skill sets i would definitely recommend uh, cut down at least on the agency part the work which you are learning over here that is the same which an agency guys do and uh, you can now cut down on their channel either hire a person in house or be the agency yourself but the kind of work which google will do there is no substitute to that you know google actually enjoys the monopoly basically i'll tell you google is yes absolutely giving us a platform so 
the kind of work Google is doing, it's actually irre irreplaceable, basically. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Pratik says we can select multiple websites of our own choice that where we want to display our ads. As an advertiser, Pratik, the answer is yes. And these various websites, various multiple websites which you're talking about needs to be part of the Google Display Network. And these websites which are going to be part of the Display Network are uh, uh, will become part of the Display Network when they are, uh, what do you say, AdSense approved. All right. Now, uh, the other thing which I'm going to read out is Pratik says, in this case, suppose we select 10 websites. So we need approval from Google first and we'll be paying to Google on what parameters. I mean, an advertiser will pay to Google for all the 10 websites where advertiser wants ad or it's only the bid price an advertiser needs to pay to show ads on multiple websites on Google. All right. I'll, just, I'll, I'll just answer this. See, as an advertiser, first of all, we do not need any approval. The approval has to be taken from NDTV uh, on Google AdSense. So Big Basket, when you know when Big Basket, let, let me just talk about the advertiser story only because you're talking from the advertiser end. So Big Basket is the advertiser. When Big Basket will go to Google AdWords, it will be first asked to select the network. Let's say Big Basket says, I am selecting display network. Then Big Basket will be asked, what kind of ad type do you want to show? You know, on these display network websites, let's say a banner ad, they say banner ad, and then Google will say what different sizes of banner ads. So they're like certain, uh, you know, uh, 17, 20 different prescribed ad sizes. Like one is these uh, bigger, a, a smaller uh, rectangular box. There is a bigger so square box. Uh, banner ad then there is a smaller uh, square box smaller rectangular box bigger rectangular box sized uh, and several others ad sizes so let's say big basket says out of these 20 prescribed banner ads i am selecting all 20 of them i want to show all of them and uh, then google will say okay all of these 20 you can showcase depending upon what all the websites you want to select and which all Advertisements do they allow? So Google will say from the website's perspective that this is in Google AdWords, Big, Big Basket will get to see the list of thousands or lakhs of websites. It will be Nokri, it would be the New York Times, it would be NDTV, it would be Times of India, and blah, 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 blah. Now, Big Basket says, okay, it makes sense to advertise on NDTV because People who read NDTV are uh, English speaking people and I believe they, uh, they, they, they would be right uh, more, uh, I would say, they, they would be very much in sync with what my audience is who would be ordering grocery online. So Big Basket chooses NDTV, Big Basket chooses let's say nine more websites. Now since Google has already depicted so many websites and out of those websites which are there it has chosen 10 websites so the approval is already there if the approval wasn't there the website's name would not have been shown in that entire menu list okay only those websites which have already got approved by google from google adsense they are being shown to advertiser in the google adwords panel that is number one now you're saying i mean all right now the pricing part the pricing which the advertiser, which is Big Basket, is going to pay on all these 10 websites is going to be different. On NDTV, he might pay 10 rupees per click. Big Basket might pay 10 rupees. On Nokri, he might pay 20 rupees per click. Now, how is that pricing thing really going to work? Pratik, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just park the bidding part again right now because uh, it might get confused. So, but I've given you a hint, right? That the pricing will differ from website to website. From website to website, it will differ. And uh, the websites which you're choosing as an advertiser, you understood that part also. Atanu says, can advertisers select or choose the websites uh, through Google? Through Google only, the websites will be chosen across. That's what. All right, so I think uh, given a quite a bit of glimpse about what exactly this entire process is. 
Is everybody good so far? Uh, great, I'm liking the fact that questions are coming in. You can ask in as many more questions as you want. The more questions you'll ask, more uh, understanding will happen and so forth. Now, this is more of a theoretical part which I'm talking about. As we'll move further and we'll... Uh, so, there's going to be a lot of theory in the beginning. Maybe for another two, three weeks, guys, there's going to be theory, a lot of theory. And then we'll do the practical. And while doing the practical, as you all know, I, I will be offering you uh, Google AdWords uh, credits also. So you do not have to really spend in money from your side. I'll, I'll get them credited to your bank account and you can attach your debit card or credit card, whatever, to Google AdWords and then run the ads, right? So you don't need to spend an extra other than what you have spent on this course, right? And once you, so make sure your websites are also ready, guys. I want you to uh, get your, I want you to, Get your websites also ready, please. That's that's very important. Uh, I told each one of you. Now this is a bit off topic. Uh, this is a bit off topic, but I'm still want to let you know that the themes, the website themes, which I have already promised to you, the paid themes. None of you have actually told me right now that which theme do you want to go up with, go for. Uh, you can let me know during the weekdays and so forth. You can go to themeify.me. You can see various themes right up over here. Sure, Pratik. Uh, on themeify.me, you will find all the themes by, by just going on to theme section, click on to all themes. And these are various themes. Once you will select, uh, once you will click on to one of the themes, there would be multiple subcategorization of these themes. Let's say for an example, I'm looking at ultra theme. I'm giving you an example. Now, again, this is off topic. I'm not talking about PPC right now. I'm talking about your website. And these paid themes are, so yesterday only I gave across a paid theme to another student <coughs> of a different batch. And uh, the name of his website was, yeah, this. Sure, so wait. All right, so I think he has changed uh, quite a bit his website. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I actually gave him a theme. He is he's still working on it. So I was just trying to see if uh, the themes looks good, but he is he's still working on it. So there's no point in showing you right now this. So let's say I, I was telling you that all the themes which you will get within themeify.me, when you will go, you will select theme section, themes tab on the top, and then you will you would be uh, you would be getting across this drop down. In this drop down, click onto the first one, which is all themes. The moment you're gonna click onto this, all these bigger themes option will come in, which is almost like six. It's not that only six themes are there. All you can do is you can, uh, I mean, these are more, more of a major uh, categorization. So let's say you're looking for an e-commerce theme, you can click onto Shopee. And if you're looking for, uh, you know, music related and so forth and so on, uh, you can click onto them. Once you click onto, let's say I've clicked onto Ultra. The moment I click onto Ultra, this page opened up, then you can click onto Demo. It will give you an understanding of how your website will look like if you select Ultra. So the moment I click onto Ultra, I get across various internal themes within the Ultra. So what I'm trying to tell you is that it's not six themes, it's multiple themes, guys. Okay. So let's say I, I, I want to see this e-commerce one, with this, which is within the Ultra. I can go ahead and further click onto it. And this is the look and feel of this. So you, you'll, you'll get the same look and feel. You'll get the same look and feel on your website. You can go ahead and uh, edit that later on. You can select theme from the ultra section also. You can select theme from any of all other sections also. You can go to Shopee. You can go to Float. You can go to all of the other ones and then get inside these and see multiple internal small major themes in this 
All right. All right, so that's how it's very, really going to look like. All right, let me just go ahead and read out for the more chats. So it says, I'll mail you everything today, theme and also perfect. And it just says, I want to be on the same one as I've already worked on it a lot. Oh, okay, that's great. If you, uh, uh, that's absolutely okay. Uh, thanks for letting me know, Anuja. You've already worked and you've already got it ready. So the point is that I want each one of you to get your website ready, guys. Okay, uh, because the search engine optimization also, which we have learned, Till the time you haven't applied those things, uh, that the, the the learning won't happen in uh, perfect. I think Anuja, you did email me across your uh, stuff also, right? I haven't really checked that. My bad. All right, so I, I'm gonna create across a separate email ID for you uploaded it, all right. Sure, I'll, I'll get that done. So you haven't uh, mentioned your website URL over here. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do look into this and yes, it's an attachment, right? You, you're confused with the last one. I'll check and definitely let you know. All right, so we'll go for a small break, guys, for 15 minutes. We'll take a half an hour break later on. So we'll go for, we, we meet at 11.15 and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and have a sip of water and so forth. After 15 minutes, we're going to connect and uh, we'll, we'll take it further from there. All right, perfect. All right, so I'm putting myself on to mute.
All right, so let's get started off the break, guys. Just trying to check if you can hear me. All right, just trying to check. All right, perfect. Let's get started. All right, so I've told you about these networks. Now, I would also, I would like to tell you one more thing about the difference about these two networks. You have already understood that the major difference is the kind of the place where the ads is going to appear on search network. I told you the ads are going to appear either on the Google search result or Google search engine page. All right. Or Google search within Google search engine. Or it's going to appear across on uh, any other Google's property, which is Gmail, Google Map, Google Drive, and so forth. And whereas we talk about display network, the ads are going to appear across on those websites which have got AdSense approved. Right. This is the major difference between search and the display. The other major difference between search network and the display network is the kind of ad type. Is that is the ad type basically on search network? There's only one ad type guys, which is this text one only text is there. As you can see, even on Gmail, the text ad is there on uh, Google maps. Also the text ad is there. So there is a headline and there is some text, which is called description line and so forth. All right. And even here itself. Okay. This is uh, this one. So you got headline and then some URL and then some, so it's all text. So the ad type for search network, the second difference between Google search network and the Google display network guys is so Google display network. Also we have understood and the difference between, let me just create across our tabular format. I think that would help with Google search network. It's only text ad. Whereas with display network ads, guys, there are three, so three, three type of ad types. <coughs> Excuse me. One is the text only a text ad can appear on third party websites, which is display network sites, a banner or an image ad and also a video ad. Okay. I hope you're getting me what I'm trying to say. So the difference, the point of difference I'm writing over here in search network and the display network. So we have understood the first part, which is uh, where will ads appear, right? We have covered that part type of Ad types basically ad types. So in search network, it's only the text ads. It's only text format of ads, which are available in display network. Text is one. All right. Then there is the image or the banner. That's the name. All right. The second one and the third one is the video ad. So on these websites, the display network websites, Text ad, image, banner ad, or video ad, these ad types can appear. And where will the ads appear? We have already covered in search networks. It's going to be the Google search results. Google search result page. All right. Maybe on Google Maps, Google Mail, which is Gmail basically, and other. Google's properties. Whereas with display network, it consists of publishers, websites, which have been approved by Google AdSense. All right. I hope this is clear guys. This part is clear. The difference between these two ad types. Now, also, I would like to tell you other than Google guys, there are various other different search engines like Bing.com, Ask.com and many more other. They also have their own uh, advertisement platform. So Bing has its own 
like uh, Google is like Google has got its own right, and uh, that's again used for the same purpose for the promotion. So there's search engine promotion done across on Bing also, as you can see. There is search text ad, which is also called pay per click ads on Bing search engine. On Google search engine, the text ad appears across on the left hand side only, not on the right hand side. Whereas on Bing, it's appearing across on the right hand side as well. The text ads. The text ads on Bing appears across on the right hand side as well. Hope it makes sense. Well, Yahoo uh, is no more the Yahoo search engine. I don't think it's there. So Yahoo has got uh, display one only. So Yahoo has been bought by Bing itself. Just give me one second. I'm just going to be a hold on hold for one second, please. All right, I'm just trying to check with Yahoo. So let me type in across the keyword and see. So Bing and Yahoo, they have got collaborated, right? So Bing is a Microsoft product. Yeah. Right, so there are advertisements right up over here and that's also done through so ads related to buy iPhone 6. I think up till here, the ads are there. Right, okay, so they have been purchased. So I haven't really tried Yahoo for quite some time. Yahoo has got its own platform, which is called Yahoo Gemini. So you're absolutely correct. Uh, Yahoo has its own. So <clears throat> Yahoo has been purchased by Bing, but still they have their own. So Gemini is the name of their platform. Yahoo advertising, basically. So you can create a cross search and display both on that. All right, this is the one. So if we uh, gonna so if you're gonna understand Google, Yahoo is uh, Yahoo, Bing are actually s simpler ones, right? Because Google has got the maximum uh, amount, maximum websites underneath its display network, plus the maximum features are also there within Google only. So if we are able to understand Google, understanding the other uh, advertising platforms, whether it's Bing, Yahoo, or whether it's uh, ask.com and so forth, that's easy. All right, even when we will cover across Facebook, you will see, uh, uh, you know, understanding Facebook will become much more easier if you have already understood the Google paid platform. All right, so that's the other thing. And moving further, <clears throat> All right, so we'll, we'll give you more information about shopping video and app campaigns also. So the shopping campaign, which is another network, basically the shopping network is only there on the search engine results only. Okay. And also there is this other website called Google shopping. So since we are talking about the networks, we have understood search and the, we've understood the search and the display talking about the shopping network guys when shopping ads are being created they appear across on google.com forward slash shopping that's one and also on the google search results guys 
So on Google search results, we did see this. So these results basically, all right. So one is this on as we talk about the shopping network. All right, so this was not mentioned. Let me just mention that right over here. So shopping network is the other network and the way it appears like is this. So this is one and also Google shopping is the other platform where your products will actually get appeared. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so that's to do with shopping. Now talking about another network, guys, which is the video advertising, all right? The video network, basically. So if we, <clears throat> so he says, can we advertise on multiple networks? Yeah, the answer is yes. We will be able to work across on all the networks and uh, set that too separately. All right. So since the ad types are different for all the networks, right? The ad types for search, we understood that it's only the text, right? For display, it's basically three type of ad types. When it comes down to video, when it comes down to shopping, and when it comes down to mobile app, uh, it's only going to be one and the same one, which is with video, it's going to be the video one. With shopping also, it's going to be the image uh, shopping ad. All right, so for shopping, uh, Google search result, it will appear. And also this one, which is google.com forward slash shopping. All right, and the ad type is only the shopping image ad. Whereas if we talk about one more network over here, which is the video network, All right, so the video network ad is going to appear across on third party websites. All right, so that's sorry, this is going to be only the YouTube videos. This is only YouTube videos and over here, the ad type is only the videos. All right, we'll understand this in detail, what exactly the different form of videos are there and so forth. And then the other one is mobile app network.
All right, so that's the last one. All right, so where the ads will appear, the ads on the mobile app networks will appear on those mobile apps, mobile apps which are, uh, what do you say, approved by Google AdMob. So Google AdMob is another product, guys, which is very similar to Google AdSense. So Mobile app creators also try to earn money by using across Google AdMob. The same way website owners earn money by applying to Google AdSense. Similarly, if I create across a mobile app today as a publisher, I am trying to get money out of mobile app. I can get across money by offering space on my mobile app screens, right? On my mobile app screens, maybe on the home page or the internal pages, I can offer space in the middle in the bottom part and so forth, right? By doing the same technique as what we do for AdSense and that's called, and for that, there is a different product which Google offers and that's called Google AdMob. And the ad types over here are majorly the, these three only, the text, image, and the image banner and the video. So all these three, which is a bit similar to the display network one. All right, so I hope everybody is clear on this part. So I thought, I think this is better by having a specific tabular format. All right, so I'm just gonna save this. Alright, so that has given you a gist of what all different ad types are there and to answer your question, we will be able to create across our ads on all of these. All we have to do is we have to create across different campaigns for all of these networks. Now I'm going to give you a small glimpse of AdWords guys, AdWords platform, so that whatever you are understanding over here on this document, it will give you a picture, you know, a, a, a visualization of how it works across onto AdWords platform. When we as advertisers will go onto adwords.google.com and will create across an ad, how do we really get across these options? Like which all network do we want to create an ad? This is the tough thing to really do, recalling all the passwords. So I just forgot what password was there for this particular Gmail account. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so Anut says my screen is different. Uh, your screen is different when, sorry, what are you trying to open? Or is there a video lag? Uh, what are you able to see, uh, Anuj? Oh, when you're going to AdWords, right, it would be different for you, don't worry. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a new, uh, what do you say, 
Gmail account and will teach you from there itself. As of now, you can just uh, have a look at what I am trying to show you. Uh, that will give you some understanding. So, uh, adwords.google.com will we'll start from scratch later on. Okay. Once we have understood the concepts basically in detail, I'm just opening it for all right. So, this is one of the all right. So, I think it makes sense to go ahead and give you a glimpse of AdWords account of one of the trainees of different batch. Okay. I'm giving you an act, I'm, I'm showing you AdWords account of a different trainee from a different batch. So, it says like we have AdWords and AdSense for advertisers and publishers respectively for mobile app it's AdMob the only platform as in for advertisers and publisher for advertisers it's going to be adwords only in mo in the mobile network but for publishers it's going to be AdMob for publishers it's going to be AdMob that is the only change otherwise creation of the ad by the advertisers on the mobile network that will happen through adwords and similarly for video network people who will be creating youtube channel they will not uh, need any other network as a publisher it would be adsense only so it's only so for I, i'm saying again even on uh, you know youtube or so since this question has come up let me give more understanding on this it's going to be Android and uh, iOS apps both, both even Blackberry, Windows, and so forth. All right, but majorly Android and iOS both apps. See the advertiser and the publisher funda works across on uh, what do you call YouTube also. For for shopping it doesn't. For shopping since it only comes across on Google's property. For search network also. The publisher funda doesn't really come into because it's all Google's property. But whereas if we talk about uh, what do you say YouTube in YouTube you have seen advertisements do come across on someone else website on someone else uh, uh, channel basically. So let's say if I go ahead and open across a particular video. Or if there was no ad for this, let me see. Or so this is Bahubali too. I'm just trying, trying to open some other video and see. If, all right, so here you go. Number one. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. All right. Do you see Jeevansathi.com has got a particular video has got a video ad before the actual video gets played on Sports Blast. Now, Sports Blast is a publisher who has created several videos and trying to make money. And they have also now Sports Blast is a publisher in this case, and Jeevan Sati is an advertiser in video. Over here, the products are going to be the same, which is AdWords and AdSense for advertiser and the publisher. Same was in the display network, AdWords and AdSense for advertise, advertiser and publisher, but it only changes in the case of mobile apps. For mobile apps as a publisher, in when you want to offer space, when you want to offer space to uh, our various advertisers you will approach Google through not through Google AdSense through Google AdMob. Okay, it's called Google AdMob, guys. So that's the only difference when it comes down to the mobile app. See, it says mobile app monetization the smart way use in-app advertising to show ads and so forth. Right, it says make money from your apps and so forth. I'm opening this. So what you have to do is if you have an app, if you have developed an app, you can monetize it by applying into, by, by submitting an application on AdMob. 
So there are two earning mechanism which Google gives you. One is through Google AdSense and the other one is through AdMob. And when it comes down to Google AdSense, you can uh, not just have a website or a blog, but also you can have a YouTube channel. So a blog or a website application can be submitted onto AdSense and even a YouTube account, a YouTube channel account, the account's application will also be submitted across on Google AdSense. When it comes down to having a mobile app and that being optimized for that Google AdMob. All right, Google AdSense and AdMob are different. Yes, they are different. The kind of work which they both do is similar which is helping the publishers to make money by offering space. All right. So, so it's like publisher would use AdSense for YouTube on desktop and AdMob for YouTube mobile app. For YouTube mobile app, uh, no, no, that is not to be confused. Mobile app, what we really try to refer over here is several mobile apps. I'll just explain more. And this is a mobile app, it's AdMob and for video, uh, no, 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 no. Google AdSense and AdMob are different. I guess the video is AdSense. See what happens is, I hope you guys were clear up till here that if you, so for Display Network, you guys were clear that if you are a publisher, publisher who has created a website and wants to offer space on its website and earn money, then you will use AdSense, right? Same goes with video also. If you are a publisher and you have created multiple videos and on your videos, you want to offer space and earn money. You want to offer space in the sense like, like in this case, Sports Blast has also, uh, is offering space to Jeevan Sati. Before Sports Blast video is appearing, it is Jeevan Sati's advertiser's video which is appearing. So Sports Blast is going to make money. But how that process works, it's again the same display network example only. In the same, uh, in the display network, what we understood was that the money could be made by a publisher by applying into Google AdSense. Similarly, in YouTube uh, example also, the YouTube publisher who has created various web videos like Sports Blast has created several videos and published it onto YouTube. He also wants to make money and the way he's going to make money, the way Sports Blast is going to make money is by offering space to different advertisers. And the advertiser in this example is Jeevan Sati. Jeevan Sati is trying to promote across its product through a video ad before someone else's video gets played. You know, same scenario works over here. Sports Blast will actually... Uh, create videos and offer space and whereas Jeevan Sati as a advertiser will create an ad which is a video ad will create an ad this uh, video ad on uh, and public will, will put it across on Google AdWords platform only and will select various different videos before which its video ad will play all right we'll understand this furthermore it's very much video network stuff is very similar to the display one. With mobile app, there is only one change. With mobile app also, it's the same. The advertisement for advertiser gets created through AdWords only. From the advertiser story, the advertiser's perspective, it's only one single product, which is Google AdWords. So the advertiser will use only one single product, which is AdWords, whether it's to do with creating uh, an ad and showcasing it on search network or a display network or a mobile app network or a shopping network or a video network. From the publisher's point of view, everything remains same. It's only for the mobile app network. One thing will change from the publisher sites and instead of AdSense, it's going to be only ad mob. All right. Kamik says videos are covered in GDN as well along with text and image. Yes. Video is an ad type basically in display. What happens is the video ad if we'll create and choose to showcase it on display Rami, it will be shown on NDTV, it will be shown across on all these 
various different publishers side whereas with video network the video ad type will be shown across so as you can see on youtube videos only on youtube it would be shown whereas in this case the video ad would be shown across on the publishers website so over here it's on youtube videos several youtube videos whereas whereas on the display it's on publishers website so had it been that jeevan sathi has shown this video ad on nddtv then they would have actually shown it by opting in for display network now when they are showing it across on youtube videos jeevan sathi is showing its video ad on youtube videos it has it would have opted in for video network all right anuj says video publishers needs to be approved also by adsense the answer is yes the answer is yes and sovik says yes my question was about uh about the publisher like suppose i have a youtube channel and i want to offer ad space now youtube is also a web link and also an app do i use adsense for web link and ad more for the youtube app i i'm just trying to understand your question furthermore see youtube app uh, on youtube app you never get to see advertisements do you get to see these kind of video ads you will get to see but that's of video network part only i'm just going to read out your question furthermore and let me know where's the gap like which i'm trying to answer and what you are trying to say so saying like as suppose i have a youtube channel or right? so you are an advertise you are a publisher so you have your own channel so let's say you are sports blast okay and you're saying i want to offer ad space okay you are you have offered space and that will happen through adsense only you saying now youtube is also a web link and also an app right it's there on the desktop and it's also an app right and you say do i use adsense for web link and ad mob oh okay that ways no you will only use adsense if you are a publisher and you want uh you know to get across offer across space on your videos all right to, and you want to earn money then for that you only have to apply to adsense all right youtube app as an app owner any app owner will actually apply to ad mob ad mob is for app owners basically all right and adsense is basically for the channel owners youtube channels let's not confuse these two let me let me say that again so today if i go ahead and create across a particular mobile app guys let's say my mobile app is candy crush okay it's a game now candy crush is been accessed by millions of people or you got it now i am the app owner and i want to offer space on my mobile app then i'll go to uh, ad mob that is one side of the story now i want to earn money again as a publisher now this time instead of a mobile app i go to youtube and i think of creating a crosser youtube channel a youtube channel which will have multiple videos of mine and within my videos i want to offer space for that i'll go to adsense hope you are getting me hope it's not getting confusing guys if it's getting confusing uh, let me know the confusion part so that i can go ahead and uh, explain further more and uh, there should not be it's clear now all right thanks so much how about others if you have any confusion please feel free to put that across in the chat window so that i can it's clear or right. anuj says no so no means it's clear or confusion is there i'm all right so are you good guys let me know it's clear all right all right ramnik you're still confused no problem let me know where the confusion is like i'll uh, definitely go ahead and speak further more on this all right pretty sure i'll give give an example and make you understand this earlier you were good with this example which is one second
let me go through the NDTV part once again. So I'll take them, I'll take these things one by one again. So there are two set of people, first of all, an advertiser and a publisher. Just, just focus on two players right now. Now as an advertiser, how do you earn money? You earn money by making people come on your side and buying uh, products and by inquiring about your products and so forth, right? So if you have a website of yours and you are an advertiser, let's say you are Renault, all right? So as an advertiser, you'll be able to make money by advertising your product. As an advertiser, what do you want? You want to advertise your product. Now, on what all places can you advertise your product? These are the places where you can advertise your, advertise your product. Number one is on the Google search result. On the Google search result, you saw that you can promote across your Renault cars. Renault, sorry, that's, that's the pronunciation. Renault cars. On the search network for keywords like, uh, you know, best MUV cars or cars for the city and so forth. Moment somebody is going to type in those keywords, which are very uh, much in sync with your product, your Renault car search text ad will come. And when your Renault car search text ad will come, you're actually diverting the person, uh, the potential customer who would, who might buy across a product from you. you you're connecting with him and you're connecting with him through an advertisement and making him land across onto your website. Not just him, there would be multiple others. So as an advertiser, you're advertising on Google search network, right? So so I've got a keyword up. I'm Typing in the branded keywords only, or it's a, I've written it again wrong. So let's say now what Renault has done, this is one form an ad, one form of an ad, which is search one. So this is how an advertiser is making money. I'm just talking about the advertiser story as of now. Now this is one search network. The other way through which Renault can actually make money is by, dis by promoting its product other than the search on the display network. On the display network, Renault will either produce a text ad or a banner ad like this, or a banner ad of any different size, and or maybe a video ad type, three type, three ad types, and it can place it across on various different third party sites which are part of display network. So like NDTV is one of them. So Renault has got an ad which could be a text ad, which could be, so this is also a text ad. This is even a display ad guys, which has got, as you can see, it says sponsored. This is a text ad, but it has been accompanied by image also, right? So there are different ad types basically. So, and is, as you can see, there's video also, there could be a video ad also. So there could be a video ad, which can appear on these display network side. There could be a text ad and there could be a, banner image ad. So that's the second way through which the advertiser, we are still on the advertiser's journey right now. Advertiser will be able to, Renault will be able to get across traffic on its website through the display network. And when, once people will actually share their numbers, phone numbers, email address, Renault sales team will call them up, will ask them to come for a test drive. Let's say hundred people have shared their details, 100 leads got captured out of 100, uh, you know, 25 came for the test drive and out of 25, five actually cars got sold. All right. So five cars got sold, whether it was through the search ad, whether it was through the display ad. This was the second way through which promotion was being done. And as an advertiser, they made the money. The third form, the third way the advertiser can really make money is by shopping network. Now, Car might not be a great example because cars are not sold online. Let's say uh, shoes or accessories and so forth. Okay, maybe shoes. So, or electronics. Apple, Apple, let's take an example of Apple. Now, Apple can either 
promote across its iPhone 7 through search or through display, which we saw on different websites, or they can even create across an ad on shopping network and on shopping networks. When we say the ad will appear either on the Google search result or on google.com forward slash shopping. All right. So this is the third way when somebody will type in across a specific keyword on Google search result and other than the text ad, other than the text ad, which was part of the search network, there is this shopping ad. So this is the third way through which the advertiser has promoted its product and it's bringing in traffic on to its site and that will a uh, certain percentage of will get converted and that's how advertiser is making money by promoting its product in uh, scenario number three. This is scenario number three in, um, I mean the third form of advertisement. Now that's another one. The fourth way through which the advertiser can go ahead and make money is by off by promoting its product again other than the search display and shopping is through video. What will happen? Apple will again. So advertisers will always go on to Google AdWords only whether it's to with search display shopping video or mobile ad network, whichever network they want to advertise advertisers in every scenario will go to AdWords only. So search we understood display we understood shopping. Now let's say Apple now this time or Reno also wants to promote across its product. Now this time they have created a video and they do not want to show it on third party websites, uh, which is display network. They want to show it across on various videos, which are there on YouTube. Now Reno says that I want to show my video ad about, uh, uh, about my Reno's specific car on all those videos on YouTube, which are related to cars. Okay. So let's say, Let's say there are quite many videos onto YouTube, which are uh, uploaded by people uh, who are car enthusiasts and so forth. Reno says that, you know, before this particular video gets played, I want my Reno cars video advertisement to get played. So that is what they can really do. Reno can decide the video before which their ad will come. But on the other side, the ad, the ad of Reno will only be allowed to come when the, when this particular publisher. So this is a publisher basically was creating the videos auto car in this case, they have actually applied to AdSense. Okay. I don't want to go to the AdSense or I don't want to go to the publisher story as of now. I'm still on, I want to be on the advertiser story. So Reno has this time created a different ad type, which is video. And as we saw the video ad, the video ad can be promoted across on display network also, which is on third party websites, but Video ad can also be uploaded onto YouTube and all being promoted across before any other specific video on to YouTube itself. So as you can see, there is an ad of quality walls Magnum. All right. Magnum, which is a chocolate. I know there is no synergy between the automobile videos and also this. So there's very less synergy. Maybe the feeling that people who watch a lot of automobile related videos, they might be the, uh, they might purchase, they might be interested in buying this particular ice cream also. All right. So that is number fourth uh, way through which Reno can really get across traffic on its website. So the moment somebody will, so let's say it's the Reno cars video ad, which is running before this auto car video. So when somebody will watch auto car video, before the auto car video, he would have to see, he would have to really go through the Reno cars video ad. And when the Reno car video ads will appear, the video ad will appear. There would be chances that people will go to their website. Again, the Reno car 
website will get traffic again. So this is option, this is scenario number four. So the fourth way through which traffic can come on the advertiser's website and which will convert further and there would be money made by the advertiser. So over here, we're only talking about the money which the advertiser is able to make by promoting its product through search, display shopping in the video. Now, Renault can also go ahead and promote across its, promote across its product uh, by creating a text ad, image banner ad, or a video ad. This time it will not uh, make them appear on third party websites. This time it will make them appear on mobile apps. Let's say there are so many automobile related apps. So Renault will actually go ahead and pick and choose various mobile apps and uh, these various mobile app on these various mobile apps screens the advertisement will appear whether it would be a mostly mostly it's the banner ad only so banner ad on the mobile app will come of reno all right so All right, maybe something like this, something like this. You must have seen when you are actually on a specific uh, application, you do get to see advertise, advertisements on that application, either on the top, on the bottom, or there are some interstitial ads, which are sort of pop-ups basically. So Pradeek says only YouTube option is there with the advertiser. I'm sorry, YouTube option is only there with the advertiser. Why are you saying this? Every option is there with the advertiser. Advertiser can advertise on search, on display, on YouTube, on uh, shopping, and also onto this last one, which is the mobile app. You seeing or other video options are also there with the advertiser. For for video, for video, there is only one ad type. There's only one ad type. There is a banner ad also, which we'll talk about. That is also there. That is called. Uh, uh, overlay overlay ads that's called overlay ads which is part of video so there is one banner ads also which we'll talk about onto youtube onto youtube as an advertiser on youtube as an advertiser you can show a banner ad also so video is one of them we that is a different topic we'll understand in detail but i've given you an answer not just a video ad will appear onto youtube videos there's also banners which come onto the bottom. You must have seen various banners which comes onto the bottom and banners comes across on the right hand side. Uh, also. Number one. All right. So Anuja says advertisers will contact to AdWords for video. Then how like Magnum ice cream ad will be there on Renault? Why are we confusing Magnum ice cream ad will be there on Renault Toyota in same way like display you can choose publisher. All right. So the way you are able to pick and choose, I've got your question Anuja, I'm answering it. The way you as an advertiser can pick and choose the website on which you want to show the ad, same works across in the YouTube part also. As an advertiser, if I am, if I have opted in for let's say mobile app or I have opted in for video network, any of these two, I would as an advertiser again get a menu which will showcase me the list of videos if it's a video network on which I can pick and choose and I can show my ad. And same goes for mobile apps. I can pick and choose the mobile apps on which I want to show my ads. So I think that answers your question. I've got the ability as an advertiser to pick and choose websites of my choice. If it's, if I'm running, if I'm promoting across on Disney network and if I'm promoting across my ad on video network, I have the ability as an advertiser to pick and choose the YouTube videos. If I am uh, as an advertiser promoting across my product, and putting across advertisement on mobile app network, I can pick and choose the mobile apps on which my banner ads or my video ad type will appear on various different mobile apps.
hope that uh, gives much more understanding from the advertiser's point of view. All right, perfect. Now talking furthermore from the publisher's point of view, this is the advertiser. So our focus, our focus is majorly going to be as an advertiser, right? Over here in digital marketing, we are learning more as an advertiser that how do we really create a website? That's what we did. Then how do we really go ahead and promote across our website? So the unpaid way, which was search engine optimization, we understood. Over here also, I know we have been trying to understand the publisher side story also. That is good to know. But our major focus is again going to be again from the advertiser's point of view that the website which we have created, we have, we have started getting traffic from uh, search engine optimizing, optimization campaign. Now we are trying to look at getting traffic from the paid campaigns from the paid paid ads also all right so that's the thing we will be going ahead and creating across ads as an advertiser on these uh, networks and getting across traffic on our website and this traffic will ultimately be focused towards getting converted and so forth okay now this is the advertiser story i think if this is clear uh, most of the stuff is clear. Publisher side story is a different one. Are you clear now, Ramik and Pratik? Uh, is the confusion from the advertiser's point of view uh, clear? All right, thank you for acknowledging. In case you still have a question, you can let me know. Now, talking from the publisher's point of view. Now, who's a publisher you have understood? Publisher is a different animal. Yeah, please, Pratik, we'll go ahead and ask you a question. Publisher is a different animal altogether, whose, uh, whose objective is different. Publisher is looking at earning money through different ways. He's, he has created a website or he would, uh, uh, be, I can be a publisher today by uh, creating across either a mobile app or by creating across a YouTube channel or by creating across a website or a blog. So as a publisher, right? You, you, so what is, what is the role? What is the role advertiser will play in ad mob? Advertiser will not play any role in ad mob. Anu just says advertisers on mobile app. Can you please describe a little bit also ad mob for publisher? Sure. I'll, I'll describe it furthermore. See what happens is publisher, like I said, understand, just, just listen to me on this part. Your questions will get answered. As a publisher, we took an example of Renault, all right, Renault cars. Renault's overall objective is that it wants to sell its car. It wants to sell the car it has come up with and by, by sales getting increased, that's the way they're gonna make money, okay? Now, Re Renault is an advertiser who is promoting across its cars by creating across different type of ads, whether it's text, banner, shopping, video, and so forth. Then they are trying to showcase it across on all the various networks. Renault has created a search ad and got it on search network, on the search result, on display network sites, on shopping network. The ad will, for, will, for the car, it will not, but you've understood the concept. And also Renault's video ad will come. And Renault's, now listen about the mobile app, Renault can also create across a small banner ad size or a video uh, and so forth, which can come also on mobile apps. I've told you that on mobile apps also there are advertisements like this on a mobile app. So let's say Renault wanted to showcase its, uh, wanted to have a presence on various different mobile apps which are related to automobiles. All those who will go to mobile apps which are like carwale.com, or maybe cardeco.com and several others. Even on those, there are banner ads. Okay. Definitely Cardeco and Car uh, Wale have got two uh, properties. One is the website and also one is the, uh, what do you say, mobile app. But if I want to promote as an advertiser, as Reno, I want to show my ad on Cardeco. Cardeco is both the version, which is, the website version and also the mobile app version. 
I will be able, I will be able to do it only through two different campaigns. One would be the display campaign if I want on Car Deco's website. Car Deco would have to be would have to apply AdSense, and that's that's the way only. Uh, I as Reno will be able to showcase my ad on Reno's Car Car Deco website since it's AdSense enabled. Now, if the Car Deco's particularly mobile app is also being registered on Ad Mob. Then only I, as Reno, can actually get it as an option in the mobile app segment, and I can showcase my ad, Reno's car banner ad on Car Deco's mobile app. Okay, so all in all, you got it. The YouTube example, which oh, that was confusing, Sovik, which you took because uh, YouTube is. Uh, a different uh, is is never a publisher basically. Pratik says so. The advertisers play no role in ad bomb. No, not at all. The way in AdSense, just uh, just try to uh, answer my question. Does advertiser any play any role in AdSense? They don't. In AdSense, also advertisers do not play any role. Similarly, ad mob is a true replica of AdSense. AdSense is purely for the website and the uh, blog owners and also the video channel owners, YouTube video channel owners. AdSense is, I'm saying again, for those publishers who have created either a blog or a website or a YouTube video channel. Either of these three have been created by a publisher and they want to offer space on these three channels. The publisher can only offer space with the help of AdSense. Whereas for mobile app, it's a bit different. If you as a publisher want to make money and this time not through website, blog or a YouTube channel, this time you want to create across a mobile app and you let's say you've created a mobile app and within the mobile app, you want to invite advertisers then you would have to apply to Google AdMob. Advertiser will not have any role on AdMob. Advertisers can pick and choose the mobile apps on which it wants to show the ad through AdWords itself. All right. So advertiser on mobile app, can you please describe a little bit? Advertisers on mobile app. So advertisers on So when you go to mobile app, Any specific mobile app. For advertising, it's always Google AdWords. That is correct. But let's say this is a mobile app. All right. And it's a New York Times mobile app. You're actually, you would see on mobile app also banner ads comes on the top onto the bottom and so forth. These mobile app owners are able to make money only when they have registered their mobile app on AdMob. Whereas for the advertiser, if he wants to promote across its product and showcase across its product banner ad on a specific on various different mobile apps. It doesn't have to do anything. It just have to be on AdWords itself and select a mobile app network. And it will be able to select the mobile apps on which it can show its banner ad, whether it's WebMD, whether it's CNN, whether it's NewYorkTimes.com. Pratik says, so the advertisers will play no role in AdBob. It's the publishers who will play their role, absolutely. And uh, Anuja says, the advertiser, it's only Google AdWords. That is correct. That was my only question. Now you got it. Perfect. No problem, guys. If you have uh, still uh, your questions are unanswered or half partially answered, I am still here and I'm still going to go ahead and answer all your queries. Make sure you keep asking. Ramnik says, like, we can check score for domain authority. That's with SEO, right? You know, for a domain name example, NDTV to choose which website to display ad. You know, for a domain name example, NDTV to choose which website to display ad. 
how would we check on ad mob that there that where to display our ad like which videos have more traffic would it be only likes on videos or some youtube will help us in all right so i think your question is as an advertiser see as an advertiser you will not go to ad mob first of all your question is like how would you really judge on which as an advertiser on which video should you advertise advertise on which mobile app should you advertise on which website should you advertise is that your question or not you say yes that's a different topic altogether that will come underneath targeting which i'm going to take next week because if i'll take targeting today you'll get confused now the basics have been covered guys all right hope you guys have understood this part that uh, what are the different ad networks uh, sorry what are the different uh, networks and what are the different what do you call uh, the difference between advertisers and the publishers and so forth all right how do you pick and choose the websites how do you pick and choose the videos how do you pick and choose the mobile apps as an advertiser how can you be really sure that the websites or the videos or the mobile apps which you have chosen are perfectly correct and that's going to give you a best return on marketing investment that's a totally different topic which comes underneath targeting which we'll understand next week so i'm just trying to see is it i think this is today it's quite massive you have understood quite many things which i it generally doesn't happen okay i'll just see what else is there which i should tell you for today all right so this is all being covered all being covered all right so this i have already explained to you advertise a publisher and google which is the middleman google provides adwords to advertiser google provides adsense and ad mob to publishers right it's a or so say it's kind of similar to what i asked yes that's correct okay so you got the question right yes please so we go ahead with the question uh like youtube i understood but now i have a website and an app both then you would have to all right so if you have an app and a website both you would have to any and you want to earn money is that your question you want to monetize the traffic on both of them for a website you will have to approach adsense for app you would have to approach ad mob yes that's the answer in your previous question the example which you took uh, sobek was not right that was youtube because youtube is uh, is a channel basically and so so youtube a type of channel or a network of google yes that is correct it is a channel basically a video a video network basically right all right so we have understood this publisher portion okay the structure of google ads and so forth this is something which we'll take next time guys so uh, i'm i'm skipping the uh, what do you say the bigger break i think we can wrap up for today instead of taking the bigger break uh, we can wrap up because it's it's quite a uh, heavy content which you have consumed in today refer to the recording uh, and research more about it and and the most important thing Yes, please, Anuj. Go ahead with your question. You keep keep asking your questions, guys. Related to this, I'm all I'm all here till the time you have got questions. Make sure you do set up your websites, guys. All right. I know it's we started on April first, and it's one month. Uh, uh, right today, it's thirtieth. So make sure that you set up your websites because uh, and and start working on the SEO part, please. for app there is no network of google there is anuja there is a network of google see search network display network shopping video and app mobile app all right it it does include mobile apps and several others so this one it's saying we will promote it on search display and youtube also but on mobile apps 
the network is there and that gets generated through ad mob only like which i mentioned over here so the applications the mobile apps which have registered themselves onto ad mob since they want to make money by offering space on their mobile applications they all collectively come underneath the mobile app network all right any further questions guys before we wrap up our session for today feel free to put that across in the chat window please for apps as well be advertiser uh, the, for apps as well advertising will connect to google app. oh yes for advertising across on mobile apps it would be done through google adwords only that is correct <clears throat> perfect All right, so are we all good? Any further questions or queries, guys? So I'm, uh, all right. So I'm skipping across the bigger break and we can wrap up our session for the day. Uh, yes, I'll be sending across this modified document, guys, for sure. I'll, I'll email it to each one of you. All right, so, uh, okay. I'll, I'll inform you about the next session, guys. I might be going out on vacation. It's not sure, maybe in a... A couple of days time, I'll let you know on WhatsApp, but I'll let you know pretty sooner. I might skip across session next weekend, uh, just to let you know before I wrap up. And uh, whether it's going to be, uh, whether there will be a session next week or there would be a uh, skip and uh, so forth, I'll, I'll keep you informed. All right. So plan is not yet confirmed. And uh, so you can also plan out your things accordingly. Then you, you can also enjoy your uh, weekend in that case by having a uh, you know a break in between so i'll keep you informed i'll try my best to have a session next weekend if not then i'll let you know and i'll surely look into your meta tags part and i'll reply back to you make sure guys that you work on the seo part which we have and also on your website and uh, message me or email me across about the tags and so forth which you have created so then I can review that. So that's a, that's a task, guys, For with respect to whatever we have covered up till now. Let me know if you need any themes and also get across your website set up and start working on your website. At least five keywords. I want you to start working on your website and optimize it through on-page and off-page. At least start with the on-page. That would make sense. At least for five keywords. And don't take... Uh, heavy competitive keywords guys take uh, low competitive so that it gives you confidence in the beginning all right sure so you can mail me and atmus says also we shall try to finish the website right so the task is to finish the website number 1 and task number 2 is to pick and choose minimum 5 keywords so minimum to maximum 4 to 5 keywords that's it and it could be low competitive keywords it could be long tail low competitive keywords so task number two is to pick up four to five keywords and uh, optimize your website around that. That's the task. All right. I'll send you across this updated document and uh, then we'll take it further from there. All right. Any further questions or queries, guys, before we wrap up our session for the day? And Atuna says, what about team? Should we get it from you within this week if I provide you the credentials? Yes. Within this week, I'll give you when you provide me the credentials. And you, you also need to let me know which theme are you looking at. So you can go to themeify.me and let me know the theme also which you want. And Anuja says, it would be very much helpful if somebody can send me a recording of yesterday's class. Well, Nitin will send that for sure, which is on Monday. But if someone else who has got this yesterday's session recording, please do share it with Anuja. So each one of you are connected across on WhatsApp. Uh, just help out. All right. Team chosen. Perfect. You can email me across. So uh, 
kid i hope you all have my email address i'm going to share it once again all right thanks sovik for volunteering for for the for being the volunteer and uh, anuja sovik can actually help you out with this all right so enjoy the rest of your sunday guys thanks so much for being part of the session today and uh, we will we'll keep you updated on the session uh, next next week all right take care guys till then take care bye 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 for now bye now